I'm not even sure how people fit these into their video frame. But hi guys, this is our new rat cage setup. I have eight rats in a double double critter nation. They might call it a quad critter nation. I'm really not sure, but is two double critter nations side by side. So I just thought I'd take you through it. So I was going to wait to film this, but quite a few of my girls are up. So this is the first quadrant on the left top side. Hazel is in the front. She is my second oldest cohort of girls. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So this is easily going to get out of frame. So I'll show it to you first. This is a chew toy that we got from Chewy.com from quite a while ago, and it is attached to a shelving unit that we got from Lowe's. You can get those for about seven bucks. Daisy's right here in one of our space pods. You'll notice we have like a train of space pods. There's, let's see, two, four, five space pods in this cage. We have another one that we're going to add. So Daisy's in this first one. If you remember Alice from a while ago, she is pretty similar to Alice. She is easily another one of my heart rats. She is wonderful. Thimble is in this next space pod and then if you can see them, let's see if you can see them. Oh, they're kind of not in frame. There's Willow and Ebony. I'm just going to pan to the side so that you can see them a little bit better. Hazel is in the back and then her look-alike Lucy is going to the other side somewhere. We have a hammock up here that the girls have finally decided to love instead of chew. Those are also from Chewy.com, as are the space pods. I have several ropes from the Dollar Tree in here. We use random boxes from around the house. They really like being inside boxes. We have lava ledges that couldn't quite make their way to the shelves because, hi Macy, because they broke in shipping. Chewy is really good about not only refunding your money if something comes broken, but also sending you a replacement for free. We have a litter box in the back corner. We have a food system over here. It dispenses food. They like to cover it. And we have a water bottle. On this side, we have a couple lava ledges as well. And then we have Macy, who's going to try to escape. She is my Siamese rat. I'll have to do a video where I introduce all the rats. Okay, on to the next side. These bins came from Dollar Tree. We have two of them over here. This one is pretty much in good condition so we put it on the side for them to sit in however they do chew them and it makes for whoops however they do okay that's the reality of rats however they do chew them okay still going <laughs> however they do chew them so there are holes that they like to crawl through we have more remnants of lava ledges and we have some of the cube as well there's another litter box, two more space pods, and another hammock. We have two water bottles in the back along with another food dispenser and a bird foraging toy that they love. They have oats in them. They're pretty much obsessed. We have another box down here and the shelf. We currently have bass equipment pans coming for these little shelves. And we have several lava ledges as well. Onto the bottom part, the left side. Macy's back down here again. There's some lava ledges on this side of the door. We have a hanging basket. Some lava ledges to help them get down. If you remember in my previous videos with Alice and Tink, I would always keep that middle section open so that they could climb from the top to the bottom. However, with so many rats and with a lot of those rats getting older in age, we've decided to keep the middle pans in. It allows for more space on flooring and it allows for easier mobility, especially as they do get older. A lot of PVC pipes. We used to go with this size, which I think were three inches. And then we started getting the bigger ones. A litter box and then a hut. We have a foraging bird toy in the back. That's hard to see because the food dispenser is blocking it. And another water bottle. This one's probably not as filled as it could be, but for now, it's kind of what works for us. Honestly, I'm just impressed none of them have made it to the very top of the cage, although Macy's headed that way. So this is our last quadrant. We have another lava ledge here. We have another one of those low shelving units here. We have another shelf unit from their other cage that's not in use right now that we will be moving over. 
a foraging tub with crinkle paper. We have some ropes from the Dollar Tree along with some curtain hooks and zip ties to hang them up. A shelf in the back, that white shelf that I got from Goodwill a long time ago. A 12 inch wheel. Another one of these baskets, this one's purple. I think we just had it at our house so we used it. A litter box and then several more lava ledges. Our bedding that we use is a mix of this is fresh news and yesterday's news. So one of them is in the big pan while the other is in the litter trays to encourage using the litter box. That is a very quick overview of the Critter Nation that we have right now. I think I woke up all of my girls now. They definitely enjoy it. This is only their second day of all living together before we had three double Critter Nations with three rats in each cage. But because one of our rats did pass away and that was a rat that two of our other girls in two different cages had issues with, we were able to finally combine the cages together. And we do not have room for a third Critter Nation right now. As you can see, our other one is right over there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.